And how is this as an entrepreneur work life balance? How does uh how do you put it together right now? Um, do you have it? <laughs> I mean it's it's difficult, um, but I was a full time um, you know, customs and border protection agent for eight years and went to law school part time and had a one year like had my child in my first year of law school and I still graduated um magna cum laude and still obtained a lot of awards um as a law student so it's just a matter of just getting the job done just All right, guys, I am here to introduce you to our favorite uh, segment, which is the business of the day. I want to introduce you to uh, Adelia. She owns a f- of law firm. She's one of the partners. And the law firm is Miranda Carrion Jacobo Firm. And then it's here in Houston area. And I am so proud of her because... Uh, She's a woman, she's married, she's a mom, and she's handling business and helping and serving millions of people here in Houston area. How are you today? I'm doing uh, great. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you. So could you talk to us a little bit more about your firm? What exactly do, which type of service do you provide? Of course. So our law firm uh, was established in 2020, um, and we handle all types of cases. We uh, essentially focus a lot on real estate transactions or cases that involve real estate disputes. Um, as well as probate law. We um, do a lot of probate processes, draft wills, and um, uh, business law. We represent several small business owners in ensuring that their LLCs or small corporations are following all the guidelines of the Texas Business Organization Code um, because they're very busy growing their business, so they always need our help to ensure that the contracts are accurate and all their filings are accurate. This is great. So you help um, anybody uh, in real estate, right? Do you resolve any kind of real estate issue or you have specific one that you more specialize in? We handle um, a lot of different type of real estate issues. Uh, a lot of the focus sometimes is related to ti- to the title of real estate, meaning who owns a property or title disputes of that sort. Um, we also represent a lot of clients in the uh, administration of the real estate businesses. We have several clients who own a lot of real estate. Um, they rent it out and eventually... Uh, because of the nature of the business, they end up in disputes with either the tenants, their brokers, um, or their management companies um, related to their, their properties. And so we deal with a lot of that as well. Okay. What well, makes you decide to start the company? So I graduated from uh, South Texas College of Law um, right in the pandemic. Um, and so or right as the pandemic was set to start at that time, I was a uh, uh, finishing an eight-year um, assignment with uh, as a border patrol uh, customs and border protection officer, mm-hmm. and so I wanted to essentially provide services to specific types of clients, clients that sometimes don't look for the help of an attorney because maybe the attorney won't understand their positions as well. Um, and so I represent a lot of Hispanic clients, a lot of Spanish-speaking clients who need, need someone to sit down with them and help them explain some of the more, more legally complex issues of their businesses or their companies or their transactions in more in simpler terms. And so that made me start the company at that time and go from there. What do you like the most about being a lawyer? Um, the law. I, I think the law is really interesting. I always like... When a client comes in and, and gives me, you know, this this long story about what they're dealing with, what's going on and everything, I always like to tailor it down or, or um, figure out exactly what are the legal issues in this situation and then address it that way. And even though a lot of times we deal with a lot of the other aspects in our cases, whether it's the management of our clients or the dealing with opposing counsel or or opposing parties, it all comes down to the law and what, what you can, how you can fit your facts to, to um, specific laws and, and in order to get the correct results for your client. I see. This is great. So you started right in the middle of the pandemic. That's correct. So what are the most challenges you encounter since you opened up your firm? The biggest challenge was 
the fact that while I was in law school, I was a full-time Customs and Border Protection officer, so I didn't take part in any um, internships. Um, I didn't work at any law firm. So before I began my law firm, I had never worked at a law firm. Um, so that was a challenge, not being able to have a, a an attorney that has been practicing 10, 15 years or 20, 30 to tell you how to do things. But then I also looked at it as a benefit because essentially all the cases that we had handled, we I had to figure out exactly what needed to be done. And the only way to do that was going back to what the code said and what the law says as to this is how to handle these types of situations. So it was beneficial in the end. So you may not have the lawyer next to you, but you did. You did have a lot of work experience, you know, because you 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 have a real estate license, so <laughs> right. right in there, and then you you uh, you see businesses in general, right? Correct. So I I had my I obtained my real estate license in two thousand and six when I first moved to Texas, and so I've I've maintained it this whole time, um, and it, and that's part of the reason why when I began my firm. I started with a focus on real estate, and it sort of has branched out from there as these three areas that I mentioned, they really mesh together. Or they, mm -hmm. they There's not one case, whether it's a real estate case, that doesn't have some components of the business law, LLCs, um, and so forth. There isn't a probate case that doesn't have some real estate issue in, in, embedded in it. And so I have found that these three areas just work well, are are, are important to each other and so that's why we've, we've decided to focus our firm with in these um as we have and what are the best things dear candor since um you have been a lawyer and since you own your own firm the best things have been to get my clients the results they deserve we have a lot of clients that are w would not maybe pursue certain things or not defend themselves adequately just because of their lack of knowledge in, in areas or the lack of um, uh, understanding and experience in areas. So I've, for me, it has been really rewarding to see some clients understand that they have certain rights and that we can you know, pursue those rights and so forth. Okay, and how is this, as an entrepreneur, work-life balance? How, does, uh, how do you put it together right now? Um, Do you have it? <laughs> I mean, it's it's difficult, um, but I was a full time, um, you know, customs and border protection agent for eight years, and went to law school part time, and had a one year like had my child in my first year of law school, and I still graduated um, magna cum laude, and still obtained a lot of awards um, as a as a as a lead law student. So it's just a matter of just getting the job done, just doing, you know, what you have to do to, to get things done. Which advice would you give somebody who's looking right now and is look up to you? What, what would you tell them? I'm nothing special. <laughs> I, everybody has the same potential. Like, it, it's just a matter of wanting something and doing it. I'm definitely not a procrastinator. Um, every time I've said I'm going to do something, I actually do it. Um, but that's it. It's there's nothing. There's no spe There's nothing special. It's just if you're gonna if you want something and you want it bad enough, just you do make it. it happen. Just make it happen. Nobody else is gonna make it happen for you. You have to make it happen yourself. This is very admirable because you say you are working full time. Mm -hmm. You went to law school, you mm -hmm. had a baby, and you still manage to do everything else. You are very special. <laughs> I, 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 I know there's a lot of women, a lot of men out there just as special uh, in that sense, but it's, I'm pretty sure their drive to get things accomplished and to um, not let life pass you by without completing the things that you want out of life, mm -hmm. that, that drives them and that's what drives me too. How can people get a hold of you? They can reach our office at 281-886-7764. Uh, and we're also on our website at mirandajacobo.com. Thank you so much for being here today. And hablo espanol, right? Sí, por Did supuesto. I say it right? Sí. <laughs> sí, por supuesto. Okay, so do not hesitate. Make sure to reach out to her. Thank, thank you so much for being here today and sharing a little bit of you uh, with everybody here. Make sure to follow us and subscribe to any of our social media. And make sure to reach out to Adelia if you need any advice. Sometimes it's just a question of asking a simple question, right? People are scared of lawyer in general. They feel like they're going to pay 
in order to have a, an answer. But yeah, a lot of times, um, I mean, we we don't all we don't charge for the initial consult, um, and we try to be really reasonable with our clients. The, our goal is obviously to help them, but you know, we do lawyers can be expensive, but sometimes not having them can ends up being more pricey. Yes. Thank you so much. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Bye.